Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech, where, for whatever reason, our mech bay icon didn't load in when I just loaded it up, but okay. We need to do a little bit of mech warrior training, and we'll just do that. We can't train Coach because he's injured right now, but we can grab a point of gunnery for Devourer. Excellent. Anything else here? Yes, actually. We can grab a point of piloting for Ulysses. Yes, Commander. And Warbore. I think we'll have him grab a piloting point. There we go. Now, in the mech bay, everything seems to be fine. We do need to tick forward two more days, though, because we don't have enough unfatigued mech warriors. Now we do, and we can run ourselves a mission. And I kind of want to run a slightly easier mission right now. And the reason for that is... Ooh, that's some good salvage. It's an escort mission, though. This is a battle in an urban environment. This might actually be really good, though. It's the same salvage, but it's about 60,000 more sea bills. We're probably going to get ambushed, but the reason I want to run something slightly simpler is because I want to run some of our recruit pilots, if we can help it. Maybe we bump this up to an additional salvage? Yes, I think we do. So instead of Time Lord 88, we will run Devourer, but we're not going to put him in the stealth. We're going to put him in the panther, and we will, I believe, put Ulysses in the stealth. Coach is, of course, injured and not available for training right now, but we're going to run Devourer and see if we can get him some XP. So let's run this and see what ambush we get. Since this is an urban environment, we are probably going to get ambushed. I wonder if Yang remembered to reload my mech. Indeed. Thanks, loading screen tip. Well, let's see what we get here. We need to destroy the enemy units. After a recent skirmish with our forces, the surviving units of a local government lance escaped the battlefield. We believe they've managed to partially repair their mechs, and that means they're a loose end that the Draconis Combine would like to see tied off. Permanently. Track down these survivors and finish them for good. A partial lance of damaged mechs doesn't sound too bad, Commander. If we're able to bring them down mostly intact, this could mean excellent salvage opportunities, and that's what we're banking on for this one. Excellent. For whatever reason, I just looked at Ulysses' portrait and I'm like, that guy looks a lot like Riker from Star Trek. <laughs> Um, Rogue Tech, are, are you okay? Rogue Tech is not okay. Rogue Tech just crashed. Okay. Well, that's awkward, to be sure. I'll relaunch it, and I guess it's going to reload. There's a pre-mission save, right? I believe there's a pre-mission save. Hopefully. Otherwise, we'll have to go through the last couple minutes again. Which would be pretty problematic. Although, I gotta say, this black screen is pretty good for the file size. So that means that it'll probably get uploaded nice and quickly. We're still loading right now. We're getting close-ish to done. It's initializing mods currently, and for whatever reason, OBS doesn't pick up this section. I don't know why, but this, this loading bar that Mod Tech has, OBS just doesn't seem to grab. Okay, it's done loading mods now. There we go. This is the menu, and for whatever reason, OBS is not currently lo loading it. Let me see if I can uh, get it to grab. Mm, there we go. Okay. Thank you, OBS. We're loading into the actual campaign now.
and this should be the pre-mission load. So I think it's going to load directly into the mission in theory. Of course, we already did the briefing. And hopefully it doesn't crash this time. I've had that happen a couple of times where it crashes on the first mission load and then not after that. I assume it's just some sort of weirdness and instability with the uh, plethora of mods that is Rogue Tech. We're still not even on the loading screen for the planet yet. Well, okay. This must be right before we... Uh, yeah, this is right before we deployed. Okay, and we were on mopping up. I did this. We had these mechs. Yep, that's correct. It saved this loadout. Okay, so let's deploy. Well, this has taken altogether longer than I had hoped it would. If this crashes again, then I guess we're going to have to run a different mission, but it shouldn't. I've never had it crash twice in a row when giving it the same thing like this. So we'll see. This is, in theory, a partial lance of damaged mechs, which doesn't sound too bad. We're not going to get very much pay, but we don't need very much pay. The salvage is what we're more interested in here. However, I do fully expect an ambush and possibly even a support lance. Okay, let's begin this. Command interface initiated. It didn't crash, but it's uh, going kind of slow. We do have some supporting units. Okay, so where are we going? Up there. Roger that. We're definitely going to get ambushed if we go, if we go this direction for sure. We'll come over this way. Coordinates received. And I'm going for four evasive pips just because I want. Oh, the Panther's pretty far back. Heading out. Just because I want to make sure. Yep. But that's what I was looking for right there, was them missing that initial rifle blast. Yeah, they they just whiffed a lot of their damage. Oh, but that PPC actually hit. Okay. So there's four of them. There's one in this building. There's one up over here, and we're going to go see if we can't take that out with the Vulcan. Target confirmed. One down. Run it down, Commander. Okay. So there's one in each of those buildings there. Commander. We're going to take the stealth over to here. Copy that. And light up this building. There we go. One rifle platoon down. Now the question is, can the panther take down this building? In theory, yes. In practice, maybe. Because we don't know if this is actually 80 HP. Sometimes they're more than that. Like that. That was clearly more than that because we just hit that with about 100 damage. Oh, and our allies didn't help. That's very rude. We should be out of LOS of these guys over here, right? I feel like we are. So that would mean that we pull the hunchback back to here. And finish off this building. Look at that. We did over 90 damage and we barely scratched it. There we go. Brought it down, Commander. So we should have nobody vulnerable. Okay, they went for the helicopter. I can handle that. 
our turn. I'm ready. Gonna take the Vulcan up over here. Roger that. And light up this infantry platoon. Primitive. There we go. That could have been way worse. One less structure. We didn't take anywhere near the damage that we could have there, especially with both of those Gauss rifle misses. So we'll take the Hunchy up over here, which is untouched. Ready for orders. The stealth took a tiny amount of damage, but not really very much. It's more the attack helicopter that got wrecked than anything else. We're going to jump the panther over here, and we're just looking to cut over this way. We see a mongoose. That's not very frightening. I'm receiving you. We're going to sprint the Vulcan up over here as a bit of a scout, but we are blocking LOS. All we see still is the mongoose. Do we not have sensors on the Vulcan? Okay, 30 damage to the mongoose. That's not shabby. Receiving you. We're going to jump the panther over here. We have successfully shortcutted. The stealth can honestly make its way up over to here and hit the mongoose side flank. We should be protected from most directions. What we see right now is the mongoose. Okay, 45 damage. There's a blackjack over there. But it does not have solid LOS on us. Okay. Yeah. We will, of course, sprint forward with the Hunchy. Understood. Moving fast. There we go. Okay, there's a chameleon. Roger that. It's got a large laser, and it's off that way. The mongoose is still the priority target right now. Okay. It just exposed itself, though. I'm showing minor damage. Commander? So the Vulcan can now come in. Mm, we can't quite get rear arc. We can come in over here. And hit this guy's side arc. Which, his armor is low enough that that should still be pretty effective. Now, the stealth, in order to get behind it, it has to expose itself to some degree to that chameleon. And that chameleon is the next priority target after the mongoose, for sure. Maybe we can jump over here. Or over here? To not expose rear arc? No. If we want to be rear arc... For the mongoose, we have to expose our side arc to the chameleon. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of that, but at least we have three evasive pips. Okay. Scorpion moves in, doesn't do anything. That blackjack is going to have a real hard time getting LOS. Yes, Commander. We are going to... Jump to right here, off of that building. And we're just going to pot shot the ERPPC. Lob it on over. Okay. I actually am not okay that we took down that building. That will make life easier for the Blackjack. What do you need? That's okay, though, I guess. We can sprint inward with the Hunchy. And hit side arc over here. Got it. No shooting, just and running. just absolutely light up this Mongoose. It's going to take a ridiculous amount of damage right here. One dead mongoose. Gotcha. Fantastic. And there's only the three enemy mechs. Okay. And I'm fine with the attack helicopter going after the blackjack. I'm hoping that the chameleon closes in here. 
And it actually did. Okay, we're going to move in with the Vulcan. Specifically, we're going to sprint in with the Vulcan. And we're going to light up the Chameleon. This is front arc, but that's the best we can do right now. Okay. The Blackjack went for the Cavalry Attack Helicopter, and I'm okay with that. We're going to sprint the Hunchy up over to here. Going full throttle. And we're going to do as much as we can to the Chameleon's side arc. Not bad. That was, what, 75 damage? Yeah. And let's see. The best that we can really do over here is coming into this side arc. We would be exposing our rear arc to the Blackjack if we did that. Alternately, we could simply sprint over here and attack front arc. And that's what we're going to do for right now. Okay. We're now going to sprint forward with the panther to this position here. We're going to hope to not backstab our Vulcan with the ERPPC. Actually, I think our hit odds are sufficiently bad that we're just going to... Not fire it. 4% isn't worth the heat. If it was like 25%, I might roll on that, but not at 4%. Okay, the helicopter is moving back and firing on the chameleon. And did nothing. Okay. Scorpion moved up, fired on the chameleon, did not do any damage. Second Scorpion, same story. Okay. So we're going to take the Vulcan into this side arc. That's the furthest we can get this round. This is strong side, but that's okay. Yeah, we'll take that. That's very nice. We're going to get in directly behind the Chameleon. And this is going to do quite a lot. One dead Chameleon. Fantastic. I wouldn't mind that Engine Core 300. I'm not sure if we destroyed it or not. Okay. We'll close into the cover with the Hunji. And we'll just start lighting up the side arc of this blackjack. Confirmed. That was a lot of damage. I can't imagine he was happy about that. Does not seem to be. Your orders are to close in up over this way. Understood. Moving fast. And then provide covering fire once you get there. Ready for orders. Okay, we're going to take the Vulcan in over this way. Four evasive hips. We're going to continue to light up this weakened side arc. Engaging target. We didn't destroy that arm, up, which I was hopeful that we would. But surprise, here's a panther. On it. Okay, 65 damage, we'll take that. I'm here. And the Hunchy is going to continue to do just a ludicrous amount of damage in this situation. Oh, that's disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. We're going to sprint in with the stealth here. Roger that. And we're going to go for that kill shot. Called shot? CT? Or do we damage transfer? We damage transfer. Because that would definitely incapacitate the pilot. Scoring. 
Oh, two of four. Okay. It doesn't incapacitate him, but it does a lot. That incapacitates him. Very nice. Well, as expected, that was nice and simple. Mission successful. We did not take very much damage there, which is good. That's really, really good. If we had taken a bunch of damage in, in that mission, I would have been sad, but nope. No real damage taken. Fantastic. And we got paid about a quarter million sea bills. That's not really the most relevant thing. What do we get here? We could get a chameleon part. We could get a mag shot. That's worth a fair amount to sell. That's a mech-sized version of the mag shot gauss rifle prototype. It has a fixed capacity of 10 rounds. We'll grab it. Most of these other things aren't very valuable. We can grab the large laser and I guess guarantee a chameleon part. That'll do. So how long does this end up taking to repair? That is the question. Well, Yang, what do you got for me? Okay, 13,000 sea bills, six days. Do it. Excellent. And that'll be most of our mech warriors back. Let's go ahead and advance time for a little bit here. Friend of a friend. In the command center, one of Darius's old friends from the MRB contacts you directly via Holovid. I have a peculiar request, Commander. I have a friend who wants you to train a fresh recruit. Samuel Dannon. No academy training, but he's sharp. Goes by the callsign Squire in the hiring hall. Really? A friend of a friend wants us to take on a fresh recruit, Yang groans? Sounds fishy. The MRB contract continues. Contact, not contract. <laughs> I can't say much more, but my friend has a soft spot for underdogs. They want to see how much a mech warrior can learn hands-on. And you've done a lot with a little, Commander. Not to mention, I'd be grateful. The Holovid blinks out. We could perform a background check on Squire, Dr. Murad says. Maybe learn something about this mysterious friend as well. Yeah, let's perform a background check. I want to know more. Later that night, when you return to your quarters, you receive an HPG message titled, Word from a Friend. I noticed you were looking into Squire's background, Commander. Justin Allard appears on your screen. Your diligence should be applauded. I won't lie, the boy is green, but he's a fighter. You know, I barely got through my training, Sakara Academy. I think you accidentally a word there, Justin. My instructors doubted me. My classmates insulted me over my Capellan heritage. They gunned me... They gunned for me during every drill. I didn't learn a thing, just did my best to survive. But one day, General Sheridan Courtney inspected our class. No simulations. He put us in mechs and kept us in them until it, he wrung all the sweat and puke from our bodies. I was the only student who earned his top marks. Years later... When the Liao forces surrounded the general's battalion on, on Spica, no one fought h harder than me to save him. Check the hiring hall for Squire. I trust you'll make the right decision. Squire is now present in the hiring hall. Okay, we'll take a look. What's up, Commander? Hmm. He is bookish. Increased plus one mech tech skill. And a moderate bonus to starting XP. Sure. We can always have a backup. We'll give it a go. So what does he have to start with? Where is he? I'm pretty sure I hired him. Yes, Commander. New mech warriors available. It's not taking the money. OK. 
Okay. That appears to be a bit of a bug. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. And I'll restart the game in between episodes. And in fact, it'll probably be a new day. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to see, once we boot the game back up, if it'll let us hire Squire. But until then, you can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.